for the last two years, there have uh, been reported sightings of uh, bodies in uh, River Yara. And what we are doing, uh, the, the OSPD for the area that is Yala, that is Game Sub County, has uh, clear instructions together with the, the DCAO for the area uh, to go a little bit deeper and find out what is happening. But uh, the preliminary information that we have is that uh, um, most of these bodies are washed upstream. For the last uh, two years, we've made about uh, around 10 bodies that have been discovered uh, in this river. So uh, we've asked uh, the sub-county police commander to uh, deploy a team there uh, at Dano Falls. Uh, because previously there's been uh, reports of a vehicle that was once sighted there. And uh, since we deployed a vehicle there, sorry, since we deployed some officers there, uh, we've not had any reports of uh, a dumping around that place. So I would also want to say this, that uh, uh, River Yala, you know, it, it gets its waters from uh, parts of uh, Nade Hills, parts of western Kenya. So what is basically happening is that uh, uh, these bodies are washed uh, from upstream and when they get to a point called uh, Dano Falls, it's a rocky place, it's a bit carved. Uh, most of these bodies have been discovered there because uh, they couldn't go beyond there. So this is the information that we have and uh, the DCIO, the OSPD and this team they are actively on the ground to try and find out uh, where these bodies are, one are coming from and if there have been, there's been a, the sighting of uh, a vehicle around there again we, we are demanding answers for that. Additionally we are in touch with uh, um, the local police commanders from uh, outside the county. We are looking at parts of Kakamega, parts of Nandi and Wasingishu to alert and to inform them that indeed there could be some dumping that is taking place uh, in the tributaries that lead to uh, River Yara. So, so that, that's what we're doing for the, for the moment and uh, we are hopeful with the investigations that are going on uh, to get to the bottom of this. Kazi yangu ni kutoa tu mwili wenye, yenye aina wenyewe inaletwa na gari na inamwagwa kwa ile kabridi ya kuenda busi ya kisumu Singine zinabaki hapo, singine zinateremuka mpaka falls, singine zinaingia intake hapa. Yote hata jumapili nilitoa mwili hapa kwa intake hapa. Ile imetupwa tu, wamefunga macho, vitu kama hizo tu. Sasa hapa tumetoa mwili karibu salasini na moja. Ile haina wenyewe. Ziko. Hata juzi tulitoa oria. Tunasemanga ni musomali. E, tulitoa hapa wawili. Moja tulitoa kwa bridge ya kuenda kisumu siaya. Kisumu bosia. Na ingine tulitoa hapa kwa intake. Hata sirikali ya yala wamejua hii mambo yote vile ina, ikitupwa lazima wapate hiyo ripoti wananiita mimi ndio natoa vile mmeona ile ingine iko pale sijui kama mmeona hiyo mwili hey, hiyo mwili iko hapo imetupwa sio mtu wa hapa imetolewa mbali na inaletwa na gari inatupiwa pale kwa daraja hata ukiona da design wamefunga si umeona wamefunga kichwa wamefunga kichwa yake hata saa hii wakati tunaongea hii Iko mwili ingine pale, imeka karibu miesi, karibu sasa ni hii ni ya tano. Imeoza mpaka sasa inaanza kubaki fupa fupa pale. Ingine tena iko nyuma yetu hapa. Nyuma yetu hapa iko, iko, iko mwili ya mwanaume na tena amefaa ile ka, ka ina ya, 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 ya blue. I am Father Clement Oluochigoro the parish priest of uh, St. Peter Cleva Siala in uh, Gemiala sub-county and at the same time 
I am the chaplain to St. Mary's School, Yala, and I was some concerns in the last four or so months. There have been a frequent existence of bodies along the river Yala, especially at the bridge, the railway bridge, the old bridge, and the now bridge being used for going to Kisumo. Some are found by the bank of the river, some are found floating, going down, and some are found stuck on the stones. The frequency or the passing of these bodies has made me be concerned. One, in matters concerning health, it's our concern that this river is a source of water for a bigger community, especially within Sierra County. And uh, the waters are used even by so many institutions. And my worry is how safe are these bodies? They could be contaminated bodies, and in the long run, we might be having problems of health. Two, I'm very concerned that the community in which these bodies are being found, time immemorial, have been very, very respectful to the dead bodies. But the frequency of these bodies passing there people are becoming insensitive to the, extent, to the ex extent that they can even ring me as their priest and tell me, Father, we have got some visitors. Father, there are some carcass here. Father, there are some roasted meat passing by the water, and these are human beings. I think if this is allowed to continue, it might later on turn into laws of sanctity of human life and perhaps the carelessness might make a lot of loss of lives if people are no longer, no longer uh, respecting human beings. The second concern is why at this point? Why at this point? Because since Wednesday I was called another time I was Wednesday this week ending uh, last week, rather, I was called that there were some three bodies. Thursday morning of the same week, I was called there were some bodies. And even today, I'm being told that there are some bodies which are being identified on the waters. Why only this point? This needs to be interrogated. Another point of my concern is what could we do? And this is where I appeal to our provincial administration, to our security men, both regular police and their branches of CID department, the NRS department, provincial administration and administration police, the local government, the Nyumbakumi uh, in charge, our communities of different uh, uh, status of life, that you may organize and find out the source of these bodies for the sake of security, among others. Otherwise, as a spiritual head of this area, I get a lot of complaints, a lot of concern from my people, as they want to know why is this happening? Could we do something about it? And it's my appeal to the whole nation that they may come to our rescue. Our children are learning bad scenes, which eventually might make them immune to, this, to the respect of the human life, or the sanctity of human life. I want to send even more appeal to my fellow religious, religious leaders of various uh, religious backgrounds that let us also put our area and our nation as a whole to prayers that we may have respect for human life. And whatever, whatever the reason 
all these lows of these lives, I leave it to all the hands of the government, which is very long to reach the perpetrators in the long run, that everyone may remain safe and sound. What is shocking and extremely disturbing is that these bodies are actually dumped by individuals who remain so far unknown. What we know is that there is a double cabin and a pro box that have been spotted on different dates. Uh, individuals dumping bodies or at the bridge into Rivayala. According to local communities, this happens in the dead of the night between 1, p 1 a.m. and 5 a.m. And they've been spotted several times doing that. Today, for our, uh, with our own naked eyes, we have seen floating bodies on Rivayala. And the question we are asking, do we have a government in place? How come this is happening in an area that is supposed to have a police station, where we have DCI, where we have a county government, and things are happening in, you know, with everyone's knowledge? How come these vehicles that are dump dumping bodies have never been caught? The individuals who are doing this, how come they remain unknown? And at the same time, we understand that this same river where bodies are found, it is the same river that supplies water to communities, to families in this region. So to number serikali wa jibike, ifanya kazi yao, na wale ambao wako pale, unoto ambao na julikana kusababu, kila mtu ambaye kwa kwa inchi hia kwa na fingerprints. So register of persons, kuja chukua fingerprints, enda kwa database angale ni ya kina nani. Na zile muli ziko pale, ya zihifadio vizuri. So in another, in another maybe couple of weeks, zitakuwa zita buried in, a, in an unmarked grave. So why can't the government move fast to get those people, unless it's the government killing them? Oi. 
Δεν είναι κλίπα τη Σούτα. Αν έρθει ακόμη τώρα. Όχι. Δεν είναι μόνο η Ακυτόκα ήδη.